So what we're looking at is a report made with Power BI, the desktop version. So this report is going to be something that you could use as a really good visual overview of your customer data. So on the first tab here, we've got the Net Promoter score. Now, if you've not used Net Promoter before, um, just a little brief explanation of what that is. So if you've ever answered a survey uh, after you've had some kind of experience, a service, you've bought a product from an organization, you've probably seen the question of how likely are you to recommend our product or service to a friend or work colleague, that sort of thing. So this is then a scale of zero to 10. And depending on the response, then that is used as an overall combination or calculation to figure out what the net promoter score is for your entire organization. So if somebody fills out a six or below, they are classified as a detractor. If somebody fills out a seven or an eight, they are passive. And if someone fills out a nine or a 10, they are a promoter. And those are the people that are going to shout about you and say how amazing you are, how awesome you are. They're a true champion for your organization. A detractor is the exact opposite. They will go online and um, talk about how awful you are, how bad you are, how bad the service is, that kind of thing. So here we've got a gauge that shows the overall net promoter score with the net promoter score right in the middle. And then um, if we hover our mouse over that net promoter score, what we can see is the number of contacts by net promoter score type. So you can see that this is using um, a tooltip, but it's actually using a report as the tooltip. So we'll get into that a little bit later. So we can see here we've got 76 detractors, 43 promoters and um, 35 passives. And we can see over here at the bottom, we've got that in a, in a table format as well, a bit of a matrix. So I've also got a tooltip when I hover my mouse over the detractors, passives, the promoters. And what this is looking at is the contact by a color plan. So this is basically just a field that says what's, what's a color that's linked to this contact. Just to show you an idea of what you could do, that could be what's the service plan, um, what product do they own, that sort of thing. So just to give a bit of visualization, we've used colors and we can see here the number of contacts that are passives that have a specific color. Now, the next thing we can do is we can right click and we can drill through to another report from here. So if I do drill through, I can click on global overview. And what that's doing then is because I was click, uh, um, selecting the detractors, it's filtered this next uh, tab for me. So we can see on the right hand side in this table, these are all of the contacts that are detractors. What we can also see is we've got a map that's also visualizing uh, where these contacts are. So if I have my mouse, we can see that we've got nine contacts that are in the US. We've got one contact in California and we've got two in Australia and so on. Now, if I want to see, well, which of those contacts in this table over here on the right are from the US, I'm going to click on that country. And again, that's using that filter and we can see it's filtering then based on the country that I'm clicking on. Okay. So what I've also got is if I just go ahead and clear out of there, I can use um, a search box at the top and I can type in a word and we can see that that is also then possible to use as a filter against that list. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out of that. And again, that takes off that filter. Okay. So some other things that we can do is if I click on this next tab, the color plan overview. So this is basically giving me that overview of all of the contacts. Um, and we can see here, if we hover over the pie chart, we can see the color, um, what the color is, the color identity, which is basically a hex for that, that color. Um, and then the number of contacts with the percentage as well overall. What I can then also do is I can use this slicer and I can filter and say, well, I just want to see the passives and I just want to see the passives who are orange, pink and red. So we can see again, it's filtering over on the right hand side. It's also then filtering on the pie chart as well. And what we've also got along the top is we have um, the the values that we've selected on the slicer is then shown at the top as well. So we've got a quick visual to see, OK, I'm looking at passives that are orange, pink and red. Now, if I hover my mouse over the name of the person, we've actually got the description field and we've got phrases that people have filled out. And if we hover our mouse, we can see those phrases listed as well. 
Now, if I right click on someone's name, I've got another drill through. I can drill through th to the contact details. So when I do that, it's filtering again, but it's just filtering on this one person. And what we're seeing is their information, their Twitter handle, their photograph with that color as a border around their image. And that's basically using a um, tree map. Then we've got their current job title, the city, their phrase again, and then what we've got is a rating based on what they provided for that net promoter score. So we can see that there's a quick visual overview to where um, from a, uh, an account manager perspective or somebody that is in the um, management team, they're able to quickly view that information and have those visuals. It's very, very um, quick and easy to identify what they're looking at. So hopefully that helps. Now let's go ahead and we'll start looking at the individual elements of that and we'll look through the different different tools that you can use.